If you are facing the misrepresentation error in your Google Merchant Center account, this video is going to be very helpful for you. Once facing the error in your account, Google actually never answered the question why they are showing this error in your account. So you might be wondering, why is this happening to me? Today, I'm going over five of the frequently asked questions that I got from more than 200 clients that we fixed the Merchant Center misrepresentation error for. Make sure to watch until the end because I'm going to give you you very useful templates and checklists that you can use today to unblock your account. Once you fix the potential issue on your account, you will receive an email from Merchant Center that looks like this. The requested review of misrepresentation has been completed and no longer appears in your Google Merchant Center account. My name is Robin. I've been doing e-commerce since early 2019, whereas I also own an agency that helps e-commerce clients scale profitably on Google Ads. And we also help them solve the Merchant Center misrepresentation error. All right, without further ado, let's dive right into the five frequently asked questions about the Merchant Center that I prepared for today. So the first question I always get asked is why am I facing the misrepresentation error in the first place in my account, right? The answer to that is quite difficult and quite easy at the same time. So we can only understand the answer on this question by simplifying what the Google Merchant Center actually does. So the whole goal of Google is to provide a safe visit and a safe search for the client right so they provided and created the google merchant center to approve or decline your website from advertising on google because the whole thing what they want is a safe experience for the visitors on google so they come back every every single time right so therefore they created the merchant center to scan your website on a day-to-day -day basis if you apply for this program and to see if everything is according the rules from the google ads and the google merchant center right so you're basically facing the misrepresentation error because some things on your website are missing or you have potential information that's not according to Google Ads rules. So that is why you're facing the misrepresentation in the first place in your account. Question number two. I get asked so many times is Robin, am I shadow banned for my merchant center with my IP address, my email address or anything like that? And the reason is for 99% basically no. As I just explained that Google Merchant Center is scanning your website on a day to day basis. So it means simply that you have something on your website that is not there. So it's missing or it's there and is misformulated or not according to the information you implemented in the account, right? So therefore you're not shadow banned. Your website just needs some some improvement here and there on multiple things probably to fix the merchant center misrepresentation error. So what we also can understand from this is that they simply suspend your account on a temporary basis until you fix the potential errors on your website, right? So as soon as you fix the errors with the right information and you submit a request, as soon as all the information is there on your website, they lift the suspension. So what you also need to understand is as soon as you fix your website and the products will be turned green in your merchant center, there's a free way to spend as much on Google Ads as possible. So most of the time, if the error is fixed on your website, it's most likely not coming back because you simply adjusted the website to fit until the rules for the policies for the Google Merchant Center and the Google Ads, right? All right, and before we go to question number three, if you need any help by unlocking your Google Merchant Center from the misrepresentation error, feel free to click the link in the description. There you go to my free e-commerce knowledge center and you can download all the checklists and templates that I prepared to help you solve the issues starting from today. All right, let's go over to question number three. So question number three, I get asked a lot of times is Robin, I'm doing drop shipping. Could that be the potential reason why I'm facing the misrepresentation error in your account? And the answer to that is 100% no. And the reason for that is Google simply doesn't understand how you fulfill your orders in the back end, right? They only understand the front end, such as your ad strategy and the way your website looks with all the information you provide there. And they also implement third party data, such as Trustpilot review scores or any other sources like that. But they don't know how you ship the orders to your clients, right? So that's basically organized internal in your business, but they don't know it yet. So they only scan the front end of all the information you put there and they also 
sponsors can for sort of like trigger words if you do any advice on healthcare or relationships and they 100% don't like that. So that brings us to question number four. Robin, I think Google made a mistake. Can I just simply submit a review and they will unsuspend my account and I have the free way to start with Google Ads? The answer for that is 100% no. If you are doing that, you're simply wasting their time because first of all, they have a very strong algorithm that scans your website on a day-to-day -day basis with specific things that need to be on there as I just described previously. So if the algorithm detects something on your website and you simply request a review, you're basically wasting someone's time because after an automated check, there will be always a manual check in order to see if your website uh, fits the policies of Google Ads and the Google Merchant Center, right? So if you apply for a review without fixing your website, you're wasting the time of the employee of Merchant Center because what I see from my own experience is that they spend between five and 15 minutes on the website checking several things such as your business information, your shipping policy, your refund policy and stuff like that. So every time you submit a review, they are going to invest time in investigating this issue, right? And after three times, there's also a cool down period because most likely many people are facing this issue and therefore they don't have employee enough to check website all the time. So therefore they want to protect their own time and give you a cool down, right? So never ever submit just a random review because you think that they make a mistake because their algorithm is super, super strong and based on millions of websites. Therefore, they will not make any mistake. The algorithm is super strong and the manual person that is going to check after the automated check always goes with a specific goal. So you can see that something is clearly wrong on your website, right? So never ever ask randomly for review without fixing the right things. And then question number five, what is the best way to quickly solve this problem, right? Because I understand that the reason you create this merchant center is to advertise with the products on Google Ads afterwards, right? So every day that your merchant center is blocked, you miss out on potential revenue. And therefore, if you was already live on the Google Ads, you also miss out on potential revenue and profit because you cannot advertise on Google Shopping without a merchant center, right? So there are two answers on the question how you can solve this as quickly as possible, right? You can either follow the long road and watch free videos, what I make on YouTube or what other people are making to identify the potential issues, try to fix them all and then work on a trial and error based or so implementing the things you learned in the videos and then going back and forward with submitting reviews and potentially risk a cooldown period of one week, two week, and it extends afterwards, right? And the other option is that you hire an expert like me who is going to fix your website like specifically as quickly as possible. Myself, I have 200 merchant centers fixed already, so I know exactly what kind of things you need to implement to get approved, all right? That is the shortest way as possible. Otherwise, you need to spend the long road and search and for all kinds of potential issues and try to fix it yourself. Whereas an expert like me is going to work specifically, knows exactly what kind of policies need to be implemented on your website. And therefore you're going live on Google Ads much faster than if you try it yourself, right? And personally, I also uh, work within guarantee. So if you are not can fix your website, then you get a full refund for our service as well, because we are focusing on performance. So if we cannot unlock your account, you get a full refund as well, simply as that. So that is the answer on question number five, the quickest way how you can solve the misrepresentation error in your Google Merchant Center. To get more information about the Merchant Center misrepresentation error, I prepared a full step-by-step -step guide how you can solve this issue from your Merchant Center account. My name is Robin. I hope this video was valuable for you. And if you are a real action taker, make sure to watch the recommendation video for the step-by-step -step tutorial to solve the Merchant Center issue for today.